Okay, I'm getting this question a lot, so I thought it'd be worthwhile to work out. I think a lot of it's just how to enter it in web work. But what you're doing here, the difference quotient, that's a, lot, a little thick, isn't it? Is what, what you want to do is you want to use, let me get a better pen here. You want to use the whole f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So you're still using this formula. You just have to plug things in based on this equation right here. So to do this, notice that I have 1 over x, but where I see an x, I'm going to put a 3 plus h. So I have, and, and I could write this again. This is the same thing as 3 plus h minus f of 3 all over h. So where I see an x, 1 over x, I'm going to plug in a 3 plus h minus where I see an x, I'm going to plug in a 3, and then all over h. Now it just gets crazy because you have to do that whole least common denominator, all that good stuff. So what I do is I just simply cross multiply. It's kind of what you learn to do with finding least common denominators. Um, but if you don't like that, what you're doing is the same thing. You're going to multiply this first term by 3 over 3, so that doesn't change it. And then you're going to multiply this term by 3 plus h over 3 plus h. So to do that with my cross multiplying, I'll have 3 minus this side over here, you have to be careful because the 3 plus h needs to be in parentheses, so you distribute out the negative. And then all over my common denominator, which is 3 times 3 plus h, and then all over this h here. Now, there's a little trick that if, if you remember, kind of a side note here, when you divide, okay, so all of this is being divided by fractions, um, when you're dividing this, you flip and multiply. Well, then what happens is this ends up coming up here, or you could say that comes down here. And so to write this out would be 3 minus 3 minus h. You see how I distributed that negative? And then on the bottom, I would have that 3 and then this h all over 3 plus h. Okay, so from here we can see that those cancel. I could cancel an H here, and now I can finally distribute this out. So multiplying this out on top, I have a minus 1 is all that's left, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and then 3 times H is 3H. Now, in web work, you have to be careful because you're typing this answer out and you have to force this to be in the denominator. And so to type it out, you would type a negative. Open either a square bracket or a parenthesis is fine for your fraction. Put the denominator in parentheses, and then of course close your fraction. So that's going to be how WebWork wants the format of it, in case you're having trouble getting that put in.